That's why Jesus says, watch out. The only reason someone says watch out is because you can't see what they can see. And so first of all, this ought to drive us back to God's word to say, if Jesus is saying watch out, then there's something that we ought to be conscious of that maybe we aren't very conscious of. But secondarily, this should push you into Christian community because the place where you meet Jesus is in his church, in the people in, with, in, within whom he dwells. When you're with other Christians, they have the ability to point out the yeast in your life. If you're not, you don't have that. In fact, I would go as far to say, I don't know how you can live the Christian life unless you're in close community with other Christians regularly. The Bible just doesn't have space for that. So can I challenge you with something? Ask somebody you trust, a mature Christian, where's the yeast in my life? Where's the stuff that I just allow? I don't think about it. I don't worry about it. I don't repent of it. I don't ask people to help me with it. Where is that in my life? There's two reactions to that challenge. One of them is the one that loves God and wants to get rid of sin in its life. And you say, yeah, that's scary and that's challenging, but I'm going to do it. The other is the one who goes home and doesn't change a thing about their life. They think that they can find the yeast. They don't need Jesus to point it out for them. That's the type of person that Jesus is warning. 